Okay, so here I have two movies from World War II. I guess the American side and the Russian side. And which one's better? For me, I'm gonna go with Enemy at the Gates because Michael Bay is very cheesy. And if you compare these two after watching this one, you're, you're probably gonna agree. This one does have, you know, nice special effects to it, but it was just too corny for me. Because it was more of a, a love triangle going on. And uh, it was way too long. Uh, it like follows the characters' lives too much. and It's too romantic, you know? Uh, it was good. Yeah, I'm not dissing it, but honestly, like it couldn't have been. It could have been better if if they try to make it serious. So that's where this one shines. Enemy at the Gates is, I think, more realistic, more serious. And there's also a love triangle going on here, but you know, the girl chooses this guy, and uh, Jude Law. And this guy, Joseph Fiennes, <laughs> whatever his name is, he's a very good actor. I've seen him in a lot of good movies. Uh, he's an officer, and this guy's a sniper. And it basically shows how the people in Russia fought off the Nazis with very little, you know, support from their government. You could say like basically had a rifle and a few bullets and when you got killed the one behind you will pick it up and keep on fighting and a lot of people died in that war in Stalingrad so I feel that you know Russia did a lot of the work you know in defeating the Nazis then the US came in and wreaked all the benefits but honestly you know, uh, I think Russia did a lot of the heavy lifting. So did the UK. But, you know, the US had all the advantages and, and gained the most from that war. Mm. Russia, well, the outcome after this wasn't too good for the people, you know, because they had a communist communist ideals <laughs> and uh, well they were already established but man those people suffer, suffered a lot for a long time so this movie is very realistic you know it, these two snipers um, play, played by Ed Harris and your law go at it and um, very good snipers it shows you how hard it was and uh, in the real life I think this guy dies in the end because his rifle exploded but there was another female sniper that got more kills than him if you look at history forgot her name but you could look all this up so yeah I recommend the hell out of this movie Enemy at the Gates if you want a good World War II movie this is the one if you want a romanticized movie with good special effects and corny dialogue then get Pearl Harbor so there you have it two good World War two movies